Number 1. Admire the architecture of the Royal Palace. The highlight of Phnom Penh is the beautiful Royal Palace, the seat and residence of Cambodia's royal family since the 1860s. The spired roof pavilions of the complex are an excellent example of classic Khmer architecture. Number 2. Cambodia National Museum. The traditional Khmer building that houses the National Collection was built in 1920. Inside, the dazzling array of ancient Khmer artistry, with more than 1,800 objects on display, is a must-visit for anyone with an interest in Cambodian history. Number 3. Killing Fields of Choang Ek. The Killing Fields of Choang Ek are a somber reminder of the terror of the Khmer Rouge whose brutal regime, intending to turn Cambodia into a socialist agrarian society, ruled the country between 1975 and early 1979. Number 4. View Tulslang Museum. It was here, in the Khmer Rouge's security prison S21 that some of the regime's worst torture atrocities were carried out. More than 17,000 people passed through these gates between 1975 and 1978, accused of betraying the revolution in some way. Number 5. Cruise on Phnom Penh's Rivers. Phnom Penh is a river Rhine town, and one of the most relaxing ways to go sightseeing in the city is to take to the water. There are regular sunset cruise tourist boat departures from the riverfront between 5 p.m. and 7.30 p.m., which head along the Tunnel Sap and Mekong rivers. Number 6. Wat Phnom. The only rise in the landscape here is the 27-meter-high hillock that is home to the temple of Wat Phnom. The first religious building on this spot is thought to have been constructed in the 14th century and has been rebuilt several times, with the current main temple sanctuary dating from 1926. Number 7. See the stupas of Wat Analam. The most important temple complex in Cambodia, Wat Analam is the headquarters of Buddhism in the country. A stupa within the complex contains one of the Buddha's eyebrow hairs. Number 8. Shop in the Russian market. You'll find everything here from tacky souvenirs, much made in neighboring Thailand rather than locally produced, to beautifully made local wooden handicrafts and Cambodian silks, along with bundles of stalls selling exceedingly cheap clothing. Number 9. Experience the Sarth May shopping scene. There are excellent opportunities for soaking up a slice of local life here with the market's huge array of local produce on display and plenty of hustle and bustle. It's a great place for an aimless wander and keen photographers. Number 10. Phnom Penh's Independence Monument. The patch of grass that intersects Sihanouk and Norodom Boulevards is home to Phnom Penh's Independence Monument, built to celebrate Cambodia's independence from French colonial rule in 1953. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.